He's had an amazing season in the German Bundesliga. Of course, it did not start very good for him as he was not starting games. But now, he's an integral part of the Fortuna Düsseldorf side. He went to join them on loan from TSG Hoffenheim. Today with us is Kasim Adam. But before we speak to him, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll find out how he's faring at Fortuna Düsseldorf. You had a wonderful AFCON, despite the fact that Ghana couldn't progress beyond the round of 16. Almost everybody was saying that Kasim had a very fantastic Africa Cup of Nations. A lot of people were expecting that you go back to for uh, TSG Hoffenheim and you pick a top spot in the team. But what happened? You changed from Hoffenheim to Fortuna Düsseldorf. Um, yeah, I think that was my expectation also because last season I couldn't get the the playing time I need I needed for myself. Um, yeah, injury was there. I was injured for two months. I came back. I get injured again for two weeks and. I couldn't have the the rhythm I wanted to have in TSG Offing. And unfortunately we went to African Cup and as you said, I, I was able to give all for the nation and everything. But I went back to give everything for the for the club. But we have a new coach and yeah, as we sit down and then we talk before the season started, he was he was telling me that I'm not going to play from the beginning of the of the season because I went to AFCON. So I, I did not want to sit down again. I needed my playing time to, to play in my club side and then the, to help the nation as well. As I said previously, if you keep on playing every time like this in our club side, anytime we have fantastic um, national team as well. Um, previously we had Suleiman Tari, ACN. A lot of them was playing in their club side and whenever they are here, you can see that yeah, it shows that they were playing every time week in week out for the clubs, and it shows clearly that they come, they come out, and then we because in the national team we have no time to prepare. The, the least time we can have is maybe two or three days to pre, uh, to prepare. And if you are not playing in your club side, it's difficult for the coach to get um, a selection like a very um, good team to play. Team. Exactly. So th this was the reason why I left TSG because the coach was telling me that I will not start from the beginning, I have to, I have to stay like five weeks and I, 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 I cannot stay for five weeks out, um, out from the league. So that was the reason I went to um, What for is doing the magic for you? At, at Young Boys, um, you were virtually the darling boy for the team. You came to TSG Hoffenheim, it was Tepsi TV. But at Fortuna Düsseldorf now, you know, it's like you are carrying everything again. What is doing the magic? Living TSG Offenheim, I was in form from African Cup going there and yeah, as I said before, I wanted to give everything to TSG because they bought me for 8 million and I wanted to give everything um, to, to them this season but things was not how I wanted it because the coach was telling me a different story and going to do sort of a certain looks is there, he's taking care of um, I think everything and yeah, the club received me very well, the fans looks um yeah the coach he keep on talking to me like you know with this motivation from the coach and the sporting director is keeping me going week in week out you know so i would say um yeah going to this other office for me one of the best choice i, I made yeah, well when, when you get back to germany tell looks funny still that i've been trying to get in touch with him on several occasions but i know he's busy he'll get back to me at the right time now at Fortuna Düsseldorf, um, you had a fantastic preseason. They won virtually every game that they played in the preseason. But when the season started, the club started struggling. What accounted for that? Um, I would say we started, we started very well. We won, we won against Werder Bremen, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, we played um, Leverkusen, which have for me one of the best the best um, players in the league also. Apart from Bayern Dortmund, I would say Leverkusen have made a very good signing and yeah, they have one of the best players in, in the Bundesliga. And losing against them was like, yeah, because Fortuna is not up to that, I would say up to this kind of level where um, they can pay for 23 or 50 million player, you know. And playing against Leverkusen was one of the 
biggest clubs and losing against them was but unfortunately i think we are we are we are coming back to the rhythm and we keep now we have started winning games and everything so we we hope that um it continues like this and then we get the results i remember the, the last interview that we had before this particular one um you told me that you fortuna Dizeldorf is a club that always tries to escape relegation but this time you try to ensure that the class moves a bit higher in the table at least in the middle do you think that is still on course uh, exactly exactly i think we are we are now on 12th position which is very important 13th, 13th position sorry and um yeah i think um we're doing good now uh, we have we have a couple of games to play before the first round of the league so i think um, by at the end of the first round i think we will we'll get a very good position in the league and i i still stand by what I say that we are going to make a very good impact in the game. The Bundesliga is is blistering this season. If you look at the performance of Borussia Mönchengladbach, it was not expected. But I remember you telling me about Marco Rose, yeah. their new coach. What is so special about him? Um, I think I played against him when I was in Young Boys against um Salzburg. He's he's. He's a very good coach. I, I saw for the first time because um, yeah, his tactic, everything was perfect playing against them. Because we, we were having Adwita, who was also one of the best coaches, and it was like two a two of the of exactly Greece. exactly. So two two coaches playing the game, and uh, unfortunately we win the game, but we struggled before we won. So I knew that yeah, the coach was one of the best coaches. He's coming up. And Do you think that his new side with the original with Gladbach is capable of winning the league? Um, yeah, we still have games to go, you know. But if they continue as they are doing now, I think it's possible because this season the Bundesliga had a lot of um, ups and downs because Bayern is struggling, Dortmund is struggling. I mentioned Leverkusen, they are not winning. So I think, um, yeah, if they continue as they are doing now, I think they, they can make it. But Bundesliga is still Bundesliga, you know. You can, you can be top today and tomorrow you are done. Bayern was leading. Dortmund was leading, but now they are struggling, they are fifth, fourth. So I think if they continue like this, Leipzig is also one of the best teams now. We have we don't have to forget them. And they are capable of winning the league also. Because now against Man is there, they have Team Ovena, they have one of the best players in the league also. So I think um, yeah, as I said before, this this season is going to be very hard for Dortmund and Bayern to win the league because Leipzig and Borussia Mönchengladbach are doing a very good job. What's so special team do you love so much about it? The fans are fantastic. Any game you go, you have 50,000, 60,000. The stadium is always full. And playing, playing in this kind of atmosphere, you always have the feeling to play football, you know. The fans is, I don't know how to describe them. They are so amazing. Cheering from first minute to 96 minutes. So I think Bundesliga is one of the best leagues in the world and no doubt about this. So I think. After a premiership, I'll say Bundesliga is one of the best. Well, at this juncture, let me take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to Star Times for igniting my passion in the Bundesliga and making me a religious follower of the German Bundesliga. Not the Bundesliga alone, but the Bundesliga too as well. Now, uh, let's try to wrap up our, our, our conversation. You mentioned a couple of clubs. You mentioned RB Leipzig. You mentioned Munchen Gladbach, Bayern mentioned Dortmund by Leverkusen. All these clubs have not found their rhythm. Bayern Munich don't even have a coach at the moment. They have a stopgap coach. Do you think RB Leipzig can take advantage of what is happening in the to Dortmund and Bayern Munich and then win the league for the first time? Um, I think this season it's, it's possible. It's possible because Nagelsmann is doing a very good job in Leipzig. As you can see, winning 8-0 against Mainz, 6-1, 5-1. He's winning like massive wins against the bigger clubs also. So I think um, for me, Leipzig is going to be one of the interesting clubs to watch this season to win the league. For me, I I was saying here, yeah, I think this season Leipzig can win the league. And I think Gladbach is not doing bad. But as I said before, Bundesliga right now, if you have a lot of quality in your team, for example, what Nagelsmann is um, doing right now, I think he, they have best coach they have. A lot of good players, young players who can fight for the for the for the title anytime, anywhere. So I think, for me, I'll still go for Leipzig, and yeah, 
Bayern, of course, they are always the favorite. I will ask you my final question, Ben. Let me ask you this. How's your wife? Yeah, she's fine. So you know he's married. So if you think you are admiring him, he's a married man. Let I'm not know. married. I have a girlfriend. My final question. Do you aim at playing in the English Premier League? Um, yeah, it's, it's one of the leagues I cherish a lot since I grew up from Ghana because that time we were always watching Premiership so it's one of the leagues I would like to, to play because most of the Ghanaians watch Premiership more than any league in the world, you know, so it will be, it will be one of my, I would say one of, one of the leagues I would like to play in the future, so. Have you had any attempts from clubs in the Bundesliga? Yeah. In the, in the, in the Premier League too? Uh, yeah, when I was leaving Young Boys, I had opportunity to talk to some few clubs and they were interested in me also, but um, I chose Bundesliga because um, Offenheim was a little bit ahead of those clubs where I wanted to go. So I think that was the reason why I went to Young um, Offenheim instead of going to England because I wanted to make a very um, good um, season so of him was the the club which which was before, which i thought be, that is going before to help you me. joined fortuna dissolved of on loan where were there attempts from the premier league um yeah i had i had i had two premiership league um clubs but i think of him wanted me to stay in the bundesliga you know because i still have contract with them and for me to go to to loan they they were able they wanted to decide for me where to go and everything. So I think they were part of my loan to Dusseldorf because they, want, they wanted me to stay in the Bundesliga and then at least the next season I went back to play for them. That is Cassie No for you. You won the league with um, young boys in Switzerland uh, two seasons ago and then joined uh, TSG Hoffenheim last season. It wasn't that a very good season for him at Hoffenheim. He switched camp to Fortuna Dessau and suddenly the stars are chasing him. We wish him all the best.